Now, there's this cute little bakery hidden in an alley that I walked by. Here it is. Oh, it looks like it's not, I can't tell if it's open yet. Maybe they're open, let's see. is named after this bakery. It's been here for so long. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Oh. oh. This one has fish inside it? What'd you say? Oh. What this place is famous for, I wonder if I could take, I wish I could take a look. They have a very old oven, wood oven, that gives all the baked goods here a very smoky, unique flavor. So I don't normally eat these kinds of things, but I was kind of curious um, what things would look and taste like because it's just like this very adorable little piece of history and I just kind of want to support the business, make sure places like this stay alive as much as I love trendy new stuff. I love old-fashioned food just as much. Oh, this is spinach. It's spinach. Perfect. Uh, um, tomato, onion, tomato, pepper. Onion, pepper. Wow. Is there any cheese in here or is it just spinach? No, not cheese. Oh, perfect. Uh, uh, oh, perfect. Can I do one spinach and one of the peppers? I'm in my hotel room, ready to taste test the pastries I got from that really cute little place. So let's start with the spinach empanada. I'm gonna rip it in the half. I wanna see what the middle looks like. Okay, here it is. Spinach on the inside. Looks yummy. Inside is basically spinach with, I think it's like raisins or something actually. There's a little touch of sweetness. The outside shell is firm, not crunchy. Um, yeah, not crunchy, but like nice and thick and dense, but not hard and not greasy at all. Pretty tasty. Here's the more pizza-like one with the peppers. This one is crunchier. How I describe this texture? Mm. It's like a pretty simple flatbread, basically. Also not like rich and buttery, but has a nice toasty outside. I like the veggies at the top. I think I'm gonna pick the veggies off the top and from inside these and just kind of discard the bready parts that because I'm not crazy about the bread. I've been walking by this perfume shop every day on my way to coffee, so today I want to actually stop in and pick out perfumes. I love perfume. I wear it every day. When people ask me what to get me for a gift, basically perfume, unless they have a big budget, in which case the answer is always jewelry. Each room is decorated differently and has a different scent to it. Hi! Oh my god, you got this is so overwhelmingly beautiful. I cannot believe what I just walked into. And the view out here, is this for real? Oh, and your outfit too. <laughs> okay. Yeah, show me. This is the sea breeze. Sea breeze, okay. It's the inspiration of the... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> sea breeze is an inspiration of the Mar Mediterraneo. Oh. Spicy, salty. Spicy, salty, spicy. a little bit sweet. What's the sweetness yeah. from? Sorry? 
What's the sweetness from? The sweetness is uh, salvia or eucalyptus or amber. This is amazing. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, this is a strong contender. Yeah, I already love this one. Oh, I really feel like buying a local perfume is such a great souvenir because it will remind me of the location. It's small and compact because I cannot fit any more clothes in my luggage. And just, oh, I'm so glad I'm taking video of this place because I just want to remember this perfume shop forever. It's really something special. Next up, I have also been walking by this place, Rialto Living, it's like a lifestyle concept store. Let's go explore it inside. Apparently it has a restaurant and home goods and it's a great place to get gifts. Wow. God, it's just the architecture when you're in Europe. It's like some kind of inherent these buildings that already look amazing. And then no matter what you put in it, it looks super cool. <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm gonna need to like spend a few hours here, I think. Surprisingly, haven't bought jewelry on my travel much. Oh, wow, and there's like all the stuff in the bag. This place is like so massive. I've like learned that it. It's so hard finding cute swimsuits when traveling. I like very picky with my swimsuits, so I have to get all the stuff when I'm online when I'm in <clears throat> California. These cover-ups are pretty cute. I don't match anything that I currently own, I don't think. Walking around in downtown Palma, there are actually tons of really nice upscale furniture stores everywhere. I didn't realize this is like a big interior design mecca <laughs> but apparently it is okay well upstairs is the art and interiors section give you a sense of the general design vibe of the island love it god i love mediterranean design sensibilities all the wood and the neutral soothing colors you can definitely see how the style here is just so different from what I saw at the interior places in Greece. The Spanish look is very different. Hmm. Ooh, a selfie mirror. Hi, selfie mirror. in the next room. Let's go peep at the art. Let's see what the look is. Colorful, happy food. Very cute. Olives. <laughs> Tapas. Wow. One more shop I really want to show you guys because it's just very cute. It's not my style in particular. <laughs> I already sent a bunch of photos of things online to me so and disapproved everything that I was thinking of getting. Look at it. It's like so serene here. Such a vibe. Right? Hola. Oh my god. 
God, I just really can't believe how beautiful all these shops are. There's this, like, ceramics. Look at this courtyard out. This is unbelievable. Wow. buying ceramics when I travel but the problem is every time I've carried it with me it's broken by the time I've gone home and then the few times I've shipped stuff to myself it's also broken so it's like ceramics are a tough one because they're such I would love to gift these to people but will they even arrive intact this so this showroom is actually designed she said to be like a labyrinth and so you can they're okay with you walking through and touching everything and this is oh god this place i almost feel like i need to buy something just to remember the experience of shopping here it's just so inspiring when people have a unique vision and point of view in design and bring it to life in a cohesive way so much respect for that Okay, I kind of told her the style that I like for things, which is, this is the fitting room, by the way. Massive. Um, I told her the style that I like for things, which is that I like happy colors whenever possible, although I'm open to some kind of like neutrals once in a while, but prefer happy. And then I only like things that are fitted through the waist. I don't like things that are loose because it just adds a lot of weight to my very petite frame. I'm only 5'3", so I don't ever wear things that are baggy or blousy on the top. And I especially hate the way that looks on camera. I feel like the camera definitely adds 10 pounds. <laughs> so I need to do anything possible to minimize anything that looks like weight gain or you know, add weight on the camera. So, um, like, so even though this dress, for example, is like loose in the bottom, you'll see it's like fitted on the top. So hopefully they have some stuff like this for me here. This dress is not my style, I told them. I mean, I like the draping and the color, or not, but not the color. I don't wear brown, neutral, things like this. I like happy colors. Walking back to the hotel now to get a little bit more work done and then drive to a nice sunset dinner on the beach. It's a nice and cool down now. People are basically having lunch. <laughs> it's like 4.30, lunchtime. And then I guess it's a late dinner here. I'm still full from yesterday's dinner though, so whatever. <laughs> Seeing one every day. Pretty much because it's walking distance from my hotel and they actually have matcha. Here's my little setup. The counter. Time to catch up on work. Working on so many exciting, so many exciting things. Steven back down his honeymoon right now. Uh, but when he's back, we're gonna add a ton of new items to the menu. He recruited a new R&D culinary team that he lifted from a very high-end Napa Valley catering business. And so we're gonna add bunch of Mediterranean things to the menu. Last day in Mallorca, going to grab a coffee. I'm wearing a swimsuit because I plan on going to the beach right after coffee. And first time hitting the beach since I've been here because I've been working and I'm just now starting to feel energetic again after being sick for almost 10 days. Voice is still gone. Still popping cough drops like there's no tomorrow, but uh, looking forward to a relaxing last day here. It's been a lovely, lovely island. I'm sad I kind of have missed the party scene though, because I'm all partied out because the nightlife here looks insane. Felt like I should mix things up and check out a new coffee shop, so here I am.
and here it is. Menu and not eating until dinner. I really can't. <laughs> We're so full from last night's four courses. Really good coffee scene here. Lots of amazing, I guess they call it third wave coffee shops. <laughs> I can't have more than a couple sips of coffee though. I'm very sensitive to caffeine. But I love the smell of it, the ritual of it, the taste of it. Chilling for an hour till the beach club opens up. It's too early still. <laughs> This is the little beach bar that my friend told me about. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get in. Let's see if I can sweet talk them. Everything's booked apparently. Success! Got here right when they opened to make sure I would get a bed. I'm loving this bachelorette party. Matching, they're all wearing black bikinis. The bride is in white. They have half their names on them. Love it! I mean, not enough for me to want to go in and get my hair wet. <laughs> like, I'll be in the water up to my waist. That's fine. <laughs> um, it's starting to rain, so everyone's leaving. <laughs> I guess I should go home now. Damn it! I'm supposed to spend it. You hear the thunder in the background? <laughs> it's literally a thunderstorm. <laughs> Shit. Okay, time to go home. Rainy walk home from the beach. I guess. Well, the bad news was I couldn't get a taxi. The good news is that I'm wearing a swimsuit, so um, it doesn't really matter that I got pretty wet. People are still out and about walking around. And I'm gonna go home to the hotel and change into something dry and hold up until tonight's festivities. Last night in Mallorca, going to an art gallery opening uh, outside of Palma. I was invited by Joanna. She is a concierge here in Mallorca who creates luxury, amazing experiences for travelers here. Oh, <laughs> I was literally just talking about you. And here she is. All right, let me turn the camera off so we can go inside and say hello. I love this dramatic black door. Ooh! Wow! Oh my god, I like, feel not cool enough to be here. Like, it's, it's super underground. Okay, look at this, look at, look at this guy's swagger and style. Look at his style, the orange loafers, the belt, the neck with the blue tinted glasses. Wow, but why are you talking about my outfit? No, 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 your outfit is it's one of the best dressed men I've seen in Europe so far. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. She, she's amazing. Yeah. She's steady. <laughs> Painted and embroidered. Can you see it close? Oh my goodness. Wow. Trippy neon art. Feeling it. There's one artist that has things here everywhere where everything looks like it's glowing. There's like a neon pink one around the corner. I'm walking carefully trying not to spill my water. Look at this guy. It's painted on some kind of metal that makes it glow. Walking to dinner at Fandal. I haven't been in this side of town yet, so. Thank you for taking me outside of my tiny little bubble.
I was so lame and didn't walk more than 10 minutes away from my hotel at any point. We have arrived at dinner. Okay, okay. Oh, it's so cute inside. Perfect. With what? A celery with what? Cinnamon mayonnaise. Cinnamon mayonnaise. And walnuts. This okay. looks like, you know, these are like the snacks that moms make in America. Exactly. So this is going to be kind of funny. For your reaction first, you're making a weird face. It tastes like a childhood snack. Super weird. Super weird. Not my favorite. <laughs> Like some sweetness to it. It's good sauce. This is our crispy rice with brown crab and romesco sauce. Thank you. This is ceviche. This is crazy. Have you ever seen a ceviche look like this? Coconut foam. Thank you for taking. I mean, I feel like no matter what this tastes like, it's gonna be fun to eat. You know? Exactly. More messy. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, let me try to get it. <laughs> Elegant as always. Oh, it's tasty though. Mmm. The fish inside is really, really well done. Yum. Thank you so much. There you go. Enjoy. Having the octopus, and I was just telling Joanne, I think. I think it's the tastiest one I've had in, on this island. I've been ordering it everywhere, as you guys have seen. Mm. It has a smoky charred flavor. Mm. Yeah. What's the sauce on this? It's just a hummus, right? Maybe a ramasse. So, that's a salmon marinated in miso. It comes with a sear kit and uh, almond sauce and two pineapples. Perfect, yeah, thank you. Always love a good hotel room tour. Nice shower. I like the jazz music, cute bathroom. Vibey. Big mirror, good. Will help me get dressed. More mirrors, ooh. <laughs> Very cute. Mallorca wrap-up. Okay, first of all, this hotel I stayed at, Can Bordeaux, freaking amazing. I think it's probably the best one in Palma as far as aesthetics, service, location. So, highly recommend that if you're looking for a place to stay in Palma. And as far as food, uh, the best food, the best meal I had by far was the seafood meal I had on the beach at Periplo. And so there's a YouTube video that I did of just that meal. That was my favorite meal here by far. Um, the other meals were good. Didn't blow me away, but they were really good. Uh, like this restaurant here that I'm sitting at, Botanic, uh, the one that had the octopus tacos. Um, I would come here again and order, you know, more of the tacos and seafood. Um, Vandal was good. Uh, some dishes were stronger than others, but I would say like Pear is the only one that I went to that I would consider a must eat.